guys and these are the Tenoy Gold 7s which are really amazing speakers especially for the price everything you get is really good in my opinion so we do have the Gold 7 there's three different kinds there's a 5 and also an 8 which is quite a bit bigger than this but the 5 is actually a lot smaller so the 5 has a smaller amplifier I think at 200 watts and the 7 and 8 have the 300 so yeah the 7 is actually a good balance between the two especially for desktop use like I'm going to use it but with that said it's still pretty big and kind of heavy too so we're going to look a little closer here but before we do you if you guys can see there's a little red light that's glowing there so that is on standby mode and that does help save some power as these are class A amplifiers which makes them go into sleep mode when you're not using them and actually works pretty well the only issue I have you have to have pretty good volume to get them to switch back on I wish they were a little more sensitive but the good part is is they don't turn off for about 10 minutes after you stop using them so if you're kind of on and off they're not going to keep turning off and on so with my experience so far they're very good as once they turn on they don't turn off but that is a feature that you can select in the back and we'll look at that here in a second and speaking about the back we look at the side guys <laughs> you can see it's pretty deep and it's got a really really tough cabinet with a nice texture on it very beautiful design with rounded corners the power cables that come with it they're very thick and about six feet long so i'm gonna go ahead and turn this off unplug it also i got some rca cables running here with an adapter to quarter inch which obviously you need for this speaker and by the way guys if you need good cables check out world's best cables they are made in japan they have a really good warranty and they're just awesome cables i'll have some links in the description so if we go to the back Hopefully we can see everything here, but yeah, it's really nice also here. We've got this plate. I want to say it's aluminum maybe, or not too sure to be honest, but we've got the model number here. It says gold seven. Here we have speaker position left or right. So I do believe that this is for if you're going to sync them together with this cable that's included. So it's basically just a regular TRS cable that links the two monitors together and each of them come with one of these so if you want to use one to link them and then one you can actually have an input also right here like to your phone or whatever has a microphone output jack so that's really nice that they have that option going below that we have bass adjustment and so this is just going to tone down the lower frequencies either minus two or minus four and it's at zero right now is where i'm going to keep it so if you're in a really enclosed or small room this could be very useful and then we got a bunch of mumbo jumbo here they are made in china but designed in the United Kingdom here we have the auto standby on and off so if you don't want them into standby you can turn that off but for me it's very useful so I'm gonna keep that on and here we have the two main inputs which is the quarter inch 6.3 whatever millimeter that is and then we have the balanced input XLR so yeah I wish they would add an RCA also that would have been nice as I did have to get an adapter which is not a big deal honestly to connect here so yeah and here we have where the main power comes in with an on and off switch we got a Tenoy logo there. So yeah, very nicely built. A lot of good options here in the back. It's a little dirty, but on the bottom here we have a nice rubber mat which is through almost the whole bottom and this is very nice as it gives it a little more cushion and also does not slip at all which is great because it makes the speaker feel very sturdy so on the front here we have the Tenoy dual concentric transducer and so basically we have the main voice cone here and then on the inside we have a tweeter but what's unique is the way it's all combined together into one unit which gives it very uniform sound no matter how far or close you are away from and I guess that's the tulip waveguide and going down here we have adjustments for input it's kind of like a gain it goes from minus 24 to zero and then it kind of has a little click on 12 which is halfway and beside that we got treble adjustment for high frequencies and we got zero and then plus one plus two and then minus one minus two so what i've noticed is here is it's a little aggressive so if i go from zero to minus one it really dims it down in minus two even more i almost wish that there were something more in between like a 0.5 or something and staying at zero is pretty much perfect i would say going up is definitely not for me as it becomes a little too harsh and also another thing i noticed is that if you're too close to it let's say a couple feet away it doesn't sound as good as when you're about three to four or five feet away it sounds very good and I think maybe it has something to do with this port and by the way this is a front firing air port here for the air to move and I think you do need a few feet so the sound kind of balances out with the air that comes out here so yeah overall very well built pretty impressed but the thing that was even more impressive was the sound coming out of here we have a very very tonal kind of warm vocally sound now right off the bat I'm gonna say they're not as flat as some monitors are they do have coloration in the highs and the lows I would say this 
speaker is actually very good in reproducing really low low frequencies and i mean like it's audible not to you know to an extent of like loud sub bass whatever but you can actually hear it which is a very nice balance and obviously the room configuration that you're in and how everything's set up plays a role in all of that but let's go ahead and hook this thing back up and i'll set up and we'll play some music and try to record it where you guys can, can maybe tell a little bit of how these things actually sound and also i forgot to mention you do get a little quick start guide here it's like a little booklet but what's cool is that you can see the different models here so we got the five seven and eight and you guys can see the eight is actually quite a bit larger and i did forget to mention that the seven is actually a six and a half driver and so it's not a huge difference well i guess a decent amount of difference here but we got much bigger difference to the eight so keep in mind that the eight is a very large speaker so a seven is good if you want to you know squeeze out more out of the five but fives are awesome if you know your setup is smaller and you need more room and here we can see the three three and 200 watt eight six and a half and five diameter drivers and they're also all bi amplified so they do have two separate amps one for the tweeter and the other for the main driver all right so here's our whole setup guys and i'm going to be using the h1n to record so hopefully we can get some pretty good sound the only thing that you need to keep in mind is the lower sub bass is probably not going to register as good and there is a good amount of it especially in the right places depending on your room but yeah i guess i need to power this one on here so when you do power them on, they start up in standby mode if you have that feature on. And then when you start playing something, they'll have a few second delay, about two, three, something like that, and then they'll start playing. So I'm using this MacBook Air as our player, and the music I'm going to play is non-copyrighted, so it's not the best, but, but a few different kinds, so hopefully it'll be pretty good to hear what these will put out. I am using a DAC, it's a tone board, and also an Exduo MT602 tube preamplifier is what it is right at this point with the world's best cables running all in between so so let's go ahead and start so you guys see it literally took two seconds three seconds to turn on okay i need to push record on this guy all right we should be ready to go so let's go ahead and start
from a bag to a bag to a bag. I remember me and mama used to ride the cab. Fill up by the lot, no more leasing. Rock him in dimes, not beside you down my shirt I remember them days, we couldn't wait for the first Finally made me a meal, now we eating off the verse Yeah, but I remember being hungry Sardines, ramen noodles, and macaroni Had that wig cheese sandwich with fried bologna Don't want no pity, this part of my testimony Yeah, I probably could've hit a lick with all my homies Instead I played it cool and sat at home all by my lonely You can go be stupid, I'll be fine with being phony I seen how that worked out for City Byron and Joey. Now my brother's serving life in a day. Putting money on his books, gotta pray. Both families still grieving for a loss. Man, this is not a game you wanna Cause play. Cause I went from a bag to a bag to a bag. I remember me and mama used to ride the cab. Pull up by the lot, no more leaks.
So yeah guys, as you can see, they sound really, really good. And obviously everything is subjective. We got DACs, pre-amplifiers, even the wires that could change and not to mention, we're just recording it and then uploading it to YouTube and then you guys hearing it through your own headphones or speakers. It's, you know, there's no way to actually show you how they sound, but if I had to tell you, then I would say they're very enjoyable and quite accurate. Not the most accurate, but quite accurate. And obviously they look great. They got the gold going for them. They're very sturdy and feel very high quality. And I think Tenoy did a great job overall of giving us something that's affordable, but also has that little bit of the Tenoy sound, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy these quite a lot and they'll be my main editing speakers and also just casual listening here and there. Again, when you go about four feet is actually where the recorder is right now. They seem to sound the most balanced. If you get too close, you get a little bit of too much highs. So yeah, hopefully this video was informative and interesting. And if you guys are interested into noise, I would highly recommend them. They're not much more than the average good speaker and very well worth the price. And I'll leave all that audio stuff I used in the description, the tone board, which is the DAC and the X-Duo tube headphone amplifier slash preamp, which is quite nice also. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. If you did like this video, hit that like button. Also check out some other speakers I reviewed. I'll leave some links here at the end. And if you are interested in videos like this, stay tuned and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.